so I am back at it again with making another video but this time it's a life hack video so this video could be very helpful or it's not helpful at all so I think I hope it's the helpful part so yeah I've tried really hard on editing this video so I hope you guys liked it and it's my very first life hack video so yeah I tried my best yeah so um if you liked it don't forget at the end of the video to like subscribe and comment but other than that let's get straight into the video For the first life hack, you are going to need two or more thumbtacks depending on how many coats you have to hang up. And I'm going to put these coats on this wall that I never use or put any art stuff on so this is a great place. Once that's done, you're going to want to start hanging up your coats. Sorry for the bad lighting on this one, but this life hack is also dealing with thumbtacks. For this life hack, you are going to need your cell phone, two thumbtacks for the end of your cell phone and for the top of your cell phone. You could use this life hack for when you're bored or something and you want to watch TV, Netflix, or YouTube. And if your bed is by a wall, this will actually help you out a lot. Like, you could be in bed while you're watching TV or Netflix or YouTube and you don't want to hold up your phone with your hands. So you put it on this life hack. What you're going to want to do is grab your cell phone and put it on the wall that you want to place it at. And then you're going to want to measure it where the top of your cell phone is at and where the end of it is at. And then grab your thumbtacks and then mark it where the end and the top of your cell phone is at. And it's as simple as that. Now you're going to want to place your cell phone on top of those two thumbtacks and if you feel it's not safe enough and you feel like your phone is going to fall still, you could put one more thumbtack in between those two thumbtacks. For the second life hack, you are going to need a battery and your cell phone. If you have a battery like mine, it should say on the side of it, press or press on. And you're going to want to open up your cell phone and you're going to want to press on the side of your battery that says press or press on. But it's not really going to work. You're going to have to find the spot where it's going to like move the screen of your cell phone. But I don't recommend this be because um, it could either scratch your cell phone screen or break it. So I'm going to show you a different life hack. You're going to need a pencil and aluminum foil. You're going to want to rip out a large piece of aluminum foil and then grab your pencil and then put your eraser of the pencil in the middle of the aluminum foil and then wrap the aluminum foil around the middle part of your pencil.
Now flip your pencil around and you could use it on your phone. You are going to need toothpaste for this next life hack. You're going to want to put toothpaste on your finger and then put it on the screen of the device you are trying to clean. This just cleans the scratches or any marks that your device has. But what you're wanna gonna do next is grab either paper towel or toilet paper to clean it off. And I'm using toilet paper because I couldn't find any paper towel. So you're gonna either wet your toilet paper or paper towel and then squeeze it and then just start wiping off the toothpaste that's on your device. Now you're gonna get a dry paper towel or toilet paper to wipe off the rest of the, the toothpaste. Mines look a bit foggy, but it's because I use toilet paper. You will need Q-tips, makeup, and makeup remover. As you can see, I did this wing on my eye just for this video, whatever. But um, you're gonna grab your Q-tip, dip it into your makeup remover, and then rub it with your finger and start rubbing it onto your eye. Now flip your Q-tip over to the other side where it's dry and take off the makeup remover that's on your eye. What this does is take off the extra makeup that you couldn't see or you didn't know was there still. You could also use this life hack for taking off lipstick that's on the outline of your lips. This next life hack is pretty simple. All you need is a cup, your cell phone, and a song to play. I'm gonna play the song Help Me Help You by Logan Paul featuring the Why Don't Me Boys. This life hack is also pretty simple. You just need toilet paper rolls. So just wait until your toilet paper goes out and just keep the toilet paper rolls. And then design it with washi tape and then grab a Sharpie and then just write what the toilet paper rolls are for. So I have my phone charger one, my camera charger, and my phone case. Let's just say you're doing some schoolwork and you're writing and writing and writing and writing until you mess up on a word and you realize your pencil doesn't even have an eraser. And you keep on looking for an eraser but all you have is a rubber band. 
And I know it sounds crazy, but you could actually use a rubber band for an eraser. If you are a person like me, you would understand this life hack. So you will need a plate and saran wrap. You're going to want to measure your saran wrap uh, by the size of your plate and then cut that. Now you're going to want to wrap the extra saran wrap around your plate. Now of course put the food that you're going to eat on top of your plate. Now that you're done eating your food, you could now take off the saran wrap of your plate and it's still a perfectly clean plate so no dirty dishes for you okay I think this is actually my second favorite life hacks out of this whole video. But you're gonna need Elmer's School white glue and nail polish of your choice. And you're gonna want to start applying the glue on the outline of your nail, like on the skin part where your cuticle is at, and let that dry for a while. And yes, even on the tip of your finger. how your finger should look like it shouldn't even look like you applied any glue at all to it but anyways you're gonna want to start applying your nail polish and it doesn't matter if you do any mistakes because it will be going onto the glue that had dried up and we're gonna be peeling that off anyways just like a base coat We're gonna start peeling off the base coat slash Elmer's glue off of our finger. I know, I feel like everybody already knows this life hack, but whatever. Well, that's the end of my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it very helpful. And if you found it very helpful and then you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. And talking about commenting, don't forget to comment any questions or ideas you have for next video because I'll be doing a Q&A video soon and I'll be making a vlog video going to California. So stay out for those two videos. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye.